One. Hi guys, this is Tori with Acoustic Interviews and I'm here with The Always. Can you guys personally... Oh my god! <laughs> Can you guys personally introduce yourselves and tell us what you do in the band? You want me to go first? Hi everyone, you're so beautiful. I am Andre Jevnik, I play drums. I'm 19 years old by the way. What are you... Oh, <laughs> hi, I'm Austin, I sing with my, with my neck. Um, and I'm 20... <laughs> what am I? 23 years old. 22? 23. <laughs> I'm Pat and I slap it a bass. Hi, I'm Josh, and I uh, play guitar and dance. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, who do you have as musical inspirations? Uh, my musical inspirations are, it's, it, it's, a, it's a wide range, you know? It's jazz, funk, progressive rock, pop rock, rock and roll. Anything that tickles my fancy, Tickle that is, hits. yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm not tickles. No, 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 I, you know, I've had I got the other one on my hand. Yeah, no, it's good, it's dry. Yeah. No, anything that really tickles my fancy, that's, you know, that's my thing. I like it. Um. You know, I think my main inspirations are weird, very weird. They're okay, like the Beatles, Metallica, and Taking Back Sunday. And those are my three main musical inspirations. So, yeah. I would like name bands. And Led Zeppelin. Go ahead. Name All right. Well, if I have to name bands, I would uh, probably say Vince Sevenfold, Sum Forty One, and Billy Joel. Wait, I thought you liked Gandhi though. Did you like Gandhi music? Not Gandhi. Didn't Gandhi influence you in some weird way? I thought that was a porn website. Gandhi music. Gandhi? No, that's... <laughs> what is he doing? That is just... Wow! Gandhi. You're silly. You're uh, Gandhi.com with butts and... Josh, no, you like, you like Penn Island. Who influenced Josh? Who influenced you? Me? Uh, I was raised on, like, Motown stuff, so I would say, like, probably, like, the Commodores and Temptation stuff since I was little. Ooh, yeah. But then, like, growing up, probably more, uh, like, singer-songwriter stuff, like John Mayer, like, James Taylor, stuff like that. But then nowadays I love Top 40, so anybody that's like on Top 40 Pop Radio, I love The Fray, it's like my favorite band. I love The Goo Goo Dolls. Anyone that can write a song and stay on the radio after like 10 years, I'm, I'm pretty The question is, does The Fray love you? You know what, even if they don't love me, it's, I mean, it's kind of like, The Fray is kind of like a woman, you know, I've loved them before and they don't love me back, you know what I mean? <laughs> Why are you all of a sudden He's from Michigan. Yeah, he's not, a true, he's not a true brook. You nah, know? I'm a glove. <laughs> and neither are we, so what are we, what are we trying to get at? Where are we getting at here? Alright, what's, what's next? Uh, what's your first memory that you have? Um, I think it was coming out of the womb, to be honest. <laughs> you remember that? I remember... What was it like? Uh, it was like the... You know they say when you die, you see the white light? But yeah. when you're born, you do see the white light. And then you see some, some asshole in front of your face. Hello! <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I don't. You know, I really don't have my first memory. I don't. I don't really know. <laughs> I remember what I ate last night, but I don't. You know, everything. I remember. You know what I remember changing. from being like a really young. Like I remember like one thing. I remember getting like suppositories on my ass. I remember that. I remember being constipated all what? the time. And I and my, and my dad was gonna be like suppository. And I'm like no. And I'd run. And I'd run. And I wouldn't get very far. I was little. I had little legs. But Are you sure you sure want the fans to know? Yeah. Listen, listen, fans. We all fans. We've all had suppositories. No, no one lives. had to take deposits out there. Just ass. me. I got a problem. We've all been there. This is. I, I, I can't follow those answers. <laughs> I got nothing. Well, what do you? What? What do you? You know? What's your you first memory? memory? For me, what about more than what's that? First time you ever ate mashed potatoes. First time you ever had like? spuds. What was it like? Chase the rainbow and fall in the golden coins. No, even better. First time you put mashed potatoes on your um. My dick. No, no, ew. No, I, was, I do remember that. So, it's not my first memory. Someone's oh. always got to say something. You mean, you mean on your beep? Someone's yeah, exactly. Like, can you beep that out? Can you beep that out? No, this, that is, out. this is a this is a NC-17. This is for adults. Dick is technically a name. All right, well, this is for adults. All right, well, what was your first memory back? Come on, tell us. My, my dick is a friend. <laughs> All right, that's weird. We Josh, what was your dick. first memory? Josh, let's go to Josh. Uh, I remember if he's my best friend. He's my best friend. What were you saying? I wasn't allowed to have memories when I was young. There was ever since few memories. Oh, were they illegal in Michigan? <laughs> yeah, they're illegal. No, I remember, uh, I remember hanging out with my grandpa and, uh... Grandpa? Grandma, gra my grandpa. With a bee? <laughs> I remember hanging out with my grandpa and, uh... My goombas. He used, to take, he used to take me to this, like, ceramic painting place where I get to pick out, like, ceramics and, and paint them and color them. I remember doing that when I was that's little. Fun. That's actually pretty cool. That's a good time. That's, cool. that's cool. I feel that. that. That's actually the first serious answer we had all day. Yeah, yeah. There you go. How do you guys feel about people who download music <laughs> illegally? I think it's terrible, to be honest. I don't like it at all. I'm actually glad LimeWire is like kind of not a thing anymore. Yeah. Um, but, Ill you know, people are like, oh, I love this artist or I love this band. I want them to come to my hometown. They can't come to your hometown if you illegally download them. It's true. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, they can't. They need money. When I was younger, I guess it's like you don't understand. It's like, yo, exactly. music, music is free. You know, I just want it. It's like, it belongs to me. But the thing is, like, the artists, you know, they, you know, like, w once you're in a band, I guess you understand better. It's like you want to go play in, like, 
the Netherlands, but you can't play in yeah. the Netherlands unless you have money to go to. Oh, exactly. You see, ba you see bands like Aerosmith. You know, all, all the great classic rock bands, even like you know, ours like Madonna, whatever it is. You know, back in the day, CDs was the way to go. They made so much. Money I only buy CDs. music now. I haven't illegally downloaded music, downloaded music since like middle school. Yeah. I only buy music. Yeah, exactly. What's your favorite song to perform? Mm. Butterfly. Either Butterfly or Eyes for You, definitely. I enjoy both of those, yeah. Yeah. Well, fun. Butterfly and Eyes for You are kind of like the little the big songs as of right now. Yeah. People like Eyes for You, people like Butterfly. Are you jerking off? <laughs> <laughs> Eyes for You is just like an exciting song to play. It's just like a lot of fun jumping around. Butterfly is just like energy, like just yeah. got, it's got like this like explosion to it, which is just fun. I do like the intro we do, and that's it. The intros. <laughs> and just do our live set. The intro. That's, <laughs> that's it. I think my favorite one we play is Blood Pollution. Blood Pollution is actually blood, blood. Blood. Give me blood. Give me blood. Stand up and shout. It's pretty good. Give me blood. Stand up. What's your favorite tour story? Absolutely. Our uh, window broke. Your window Not broke? Too long ago, yeah. Okay. It was shut and shattered in Canada. Ouch. Uh, I have one. Oh, and the tire almost fell off. I was driving. The tire did fall off. We locked in place. It's more like the van just came down on the tire. Yeah, the and then our buddy took a poop in the woods. I thought that was kind of cool. Well, you were there for that, were you? I, I was driving. Well, he was, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I have one favorite okay. tour story. It's, um, before any of these guys were in the band, but it was hey. an experience. It was an experience. All right. We're driving in Virginia on like this random road. Bumblefuck. We live in Virginia. I don't know what road it was right now. Bumblefuck you. Road. But we were just driving down, and normally <laughs> we, if, we, if we were going to stop, we'd only stop at like a gas station or something. But the only gas station was off an exit. So we got off at the exit, went around like just, just loopy loopy. We don't know where we were in Virginia. <laughs> totally no idea where we were. Uh, stop at a gas station. And so my bassist at the time, who's actually a neighborhood kid, so we're playing with him tonight, um, he was uh, driving the van, and he, like, it started raining, I guess, and we were going down, like, this careening hill, this, like, mountain, <laughs> this mountain hill, right? They're being, like, my picture people. And so I fell asleep, and all I remember, I was just sleeping, and all I remember was waking up to, No! Fuck no! Oh my god! I'm like, and I wake up, and just, and just I wake up, and we're stopped, and, like, we're literally just, like, this is the van. This is this is the van. This is like the uh, what's it called? The guardrail, the guardrail. on the right. side of the. Uh, and then just literally like it takes up like over half of it. And then on the other side, just cliff, just just down cliff. So we were literally like an inch away from just dead. And I woke up and took a pee, and that was it. It's not like, that's, it's not like there's foam down there, like when you go to these gymnastic places, you know. You I woke jump, up and jump I took off a pee. Yeah, that's my yeah, that's my favorite story. So. Ain't no foam down there. That's death. Yeah. yeah. That's have? pretty drastic. You got a favorite story? And at, at that time, Pat and I were, uh... I've been in that same situation. Yeah, really? at that time, we were doing so completely scary. different things while that was going on. I was, I was probably that. sleeping when that was going so on, scary. to be honest. So I remember staying at a bunch of yeah. people's houses, and, like, a lot of people would just, like, get pissed off. I remember, like, staying in one place, and they were like, I don't know why you're staying here, because they, like, hated my band. They would say how much, like, I saw them sucked and stuff. But we were, like, staying there. I can relate. But I remember, like, going in, like, different people's houses, and if they, like, were bad people, we upper decked deck their toilets. <laughs> no, that's actually really good. So we were, like, actually, you know, I upper decked someone with clay. And then we use toilet uh, towels to like wipe our ass. Do I have a beer? <laughs> oh, not yet. <laughs> you stay out here. Hey, you interview. Look off. Say hi. Hey, what's up? Can I have Yeah, you really quick. Oh, you have your own? Yeah, we got it. Give me that back. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god. <laughs> we're all difficult. of age, by the way. We're all. Stay out there, Ryan. Right, guys. Yeah. There we are. Yeah. We're all. He's 20. Five. Wait, I just said I was <laughs> not. No, 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 no. no. Shh. All right, let's go. No, I don't. I don't drink. He doesn't drink. So those, fake, fake. What's the next question? What's the best prank you've ever pulled? I don't do pranks, I mean, to be honest. I like that, it's a prankster. Um, I mean, no one comes oh, mind. there was this guy, Josh, right, and he tried out for a band, and we, like, totally made him believe he was going to be in the band, and, like, led him on forever, yeah. and then we told him that he wasn't going to be in the band. That was crazy. <laughs> that guy, Josh, sucks so much. <laughs> that is cray-cray. C-R-A-Y, exclamation point. One time someone pranked me, and I was, like, talking to this guy, Austin, one day, he said, man, you got to meet my bass player, Pay is, like, really good, and it was a prank, because he like, ended up not being like, that's, that's this guy. <laughs> yes. ah, <just> <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's your next question? Oh, yeah. My next yeah. question is, well, we can't really do it, but what's your favorite dance move? Oh, shit. Uh, the moonwalk? Yeah, it's kind the of a I don't know. I used to do tap dancing. Writer? I wish we could show you right yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. We, we actually have some sick dance moves. The typewriter okay. is the Can we edit them in later? And Vesuvius. We can make a second video. You can do it on stage. Come on stage. There's going to be a second video. The typewriter and Vesuvius. What is the typewriter? Well, I can't awesome do it right now. I can't do it right now. I, I, prefer, I like well, so. mermaid dancing. But I did do tap dancing, lyrical, <laughs> hip hop, and uh, accidentally 
Not, no, not ballet. I think that's it. I accidentally did lyrical. I accidentally thinking did it was, ballet. Thinking it was hip hop, but my teacher was really hot. So. <laughs> oh my God, Bigfoot is here. Bigfoot is here. Right, right, what's, uh, right, if you had to date someone in your band, who would it be and why? Myself. Jesus. Jesus, okay. For every empty seat. I think Pat would Jesus fuck me pretty sitting. good, so I think I would date Pat. I'm a sensual lover. He's a sensual fucker. What kind of question is that? We don't think of these kind of things. I mean, <laughs> I mean they just thought. I mean, I think of it. What's your favorite venue to play? Uh, Hammerstein Ballroom. Probably Madison Square Garden. That's my favorite one to play. Yeah. Well, I mean, do you mean like that place, place that we've already played? Yeah. Hammerstein Ballroom. Yeah. Yeah. Hammerstein Ballroom. Yeah. Madison Ballroom. Square Garden. Square Garden. I mean, we did technically play. play was good too. We did technically play at Madison Square Garden, but it was on like the screen. So we, we were did, sitting we, we did not play. We did not play at all. Oh, please. People saw us. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But yeah. Hammerstein Bowen or uh, New Jersey. New Jersey Bowen. Hammerstein Bowen was cool. Jeb, <laughs> uh, Jeb next dun dungeon stage. <laughs> the what Jeb next dungeon stage. What made you guys want to get into music? I don't know. Money oh. and girls. Oh, right. I mean, I come from a musical family, so I just, just, just gravitate just, towards music. My actual answer is really sappy. The bitch is so mine. So I'm just yeah. going to say, yeah, like, girls, money, bro. Yeah, money, sap, no, yeah you don't want answer. sap. You got to get baby oil and get the sap off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, like, always loved music, and I never, like, partied growing up. So, like, in, in like, high school <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> and, like, in, like, high school and stuff. So I was always at home, and I had instruments. So I was like, you might as well get good at one of these. And I just kind of took it more seriously. That's pretty much my answer. All right, guys, last question. Who's the funniest person in the band? Um, and we all say? have our own We all have our, our own sorts. Like, for example, me, Andre Jevnik here. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I am... Crazy, absolutely crazy. Uh, nuts all the time. I have nuts. I'm a man. And uh, crazy. Pat, Pat, Pat likes to say jokes on stage. Sometimes they don't work, and no, sometimes they like do work. That's actually a fun guy. Like, he was, he was I, like, I'm very deadpan. He's, yeah. he's very, like, like he's this. Very, he's, he's funny, but it's like this. He's very, yeah. like, a, like, a dead It's like it's like King of the Hill humor. Like beach It's just like... Ham, ham. Hey, hey, Bobby. I don't know what the accent was, yeah. It's like office. Know, the office. You know what I was doing? No. I'm like, I'm like <laughs> I guess I'm still funny, but I'm like, I'm like casually funny. I don't know. Hey, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> this, guy this guy's the only one in my life who's busting my balls more than I bust anyone else's. I mean, don't you bust your own balls? Those balls are pretty black. Like, black how, do you, blue right now. how do you bust your balls? Black and blue. Like, what? What? What's your horoscope say today? Well, it said, it said the first. Th I, I read. I read like the new 2013. Like it describes the signs, and the first thing it said was uh, about Capricorn loves to bust. Period. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Oh my God. I mean, you know, it's not, do it's not, what you will with that statement, but it's it can mean not, anything. Not wrong. You know, you can bust. You <laughs> not can, not you can bust faces. You know, or you can bust things on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like you can, <laughs> on yourself. You know, you can, on your own. Yeah. yeah. On your own flesh. You can bust. <laughs> Um, those horoscopes are a little too much, though. Yeah. They make you believe, you know. Today you're gonna feel sexual, and you wake up. You're, and then you wow, I feel, wow. I feel sexual, and it's but it's not true though, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyways, it doesn't matter. What yeah. did you know when you right, wake up? What's your what's your final statement? My final statement is these guys are awesome, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye. bye, we'll bye, see bye, you bye, bye. Soon. <laughs> oh no, yeah.